If you're anything like me, you got interested in playing the Yu-Gi-Oh card game by watching the anime. My brother and I got excited for the game after watching the Battle Scene Finals, wanting desperately to play the game for ourselves. Our loving mother happened across two structure decks while shopping one day and decided to bring them home for us, my brother receiving Dark Emperor and myself getting Spellcaster's Commands. I remember those days being really fun. So I brought back my buddy Gary and we reconstructed the decks in Yu-Gi-Oh Omega just so I can relive the days that started my card game journey. And I was quickly reminded just how one-sided the fun was back in the day. Oh yeah, by the way. Lightning Vortex! I swear, if you have Torrential Tribute face down- Okay, it's not. No, it's, it's something worse. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! <laughs> Enjoy my pain. But before we hop onto the pain drain, let me give you a quick rundown of the decks we'll be using today. Starting with my deck, Spellcaster's Command. The point of this deck is to build up these things called spell counters, which are special little tokens that allow you to essentially get special abilities like increased attack or removing spell counters in order to pop monsters or destroy your spell and trap cards or make your opponent discard a card. One of the most crucial cards of this deck is going to be the field spell Magical Cathedral of Endymion. This card's kind of the central hub for all of your spell counters. A card that had spell counters on it dies, they go onto this card. A spell card is activated, put a spell counter on it. You have to activate an ability that requires spell counters? Remove it from this card instead. And on top of all of that, if you have six or more spell counters, you can remove six of them in order to special summon your boss monster, and Endymion, the Master Magician. If you special summon him this way, you get a spell card back from the graveyard, which is great, because A, gives you a spell card back, and B, it allows you to activate his other ability, which if you discard a spell card, you can destroy one card on the field. Nothing too crazy by today's standards, but it's a pretty neat ability for 2009. That's pretty much it. Just get spell counters, get your boss monster out, start popping stuff. That's Spellcaster's Command. And the deck I'll be facing today is the Dark Emperor, which can be summed up in three words. Remove from play. A good chunk of the cards in this deck are just about removing cards from play, like Dimensional Fissure. All monsters get banished. Macrocosmos, any card that would go into the graveyard, gets banished. You've got Banisher of the Radiance, which is literally just a monster form of Macrocosmos. Heck, even Caius the Shadow Monarch, which is the boss monster for this deck, which is a single tribute, just removes from play any card you choose. On top of that, if you remove a Dark Time monster, you just get to inflict a free thousand damage to your opponent. And if making sure your opponent doesn't get to play the game by banishing their cards wasn't good enough for you, you also get major power-ups from it. Like Golden Humunculus, which gets 300 attack and defense for every banished card. Grand Maju Daiza, a level 3 monster that gets 400 attack and defense for every banished card. Heck, you even get a burn card that deals 300 damage for each one of your opponents removed from play cards. To summarize the deck, I make sure you don't get to play the game, and I make myself stronger in the process. And that's the Dark Emperor for you. And now with that quick little run through out of the way, now enjoy my pain and suffering. Of course, I gotta get, okay. Aha, no one ever <laughs> expects it to double play. The double walk. Oh, this is a great start. I shall set one card face down, and then I shall summon my beat stick, the skilled Dark Magician. And I'll set another card face down, and then I will end my turn. How will you get over 1900? That's the only good thing I got going for me right now is that I've got a couple beat sticks in here and that's it. I can play this, DD Assailant, because if I read this correctly, after damage calculation, when this card is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster, banish that monster. Also banish this card. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing here. I may take some damage, but that's okay. Are you sure about that? Enemy control, uh... And then I will set two cards face down, and then in my turn. I will set this card face down, and then I will summon my, me, me, cow, a magician okay. with enough attack points to get rid of your monster. Right, I shall go into battle, and I shall attack. And then I shall attack your life points directly. And I will end my turn. I normal summon Excel forces. Then, I'll activate its effect to tribute the card, then target one monster on the field, and destroy that monster. Egad! And I think I'll end my turn. I can't use you. That sucks. Well, I'm gonna do- <laughs> I'm gonna summon an apprentice magician! And I shall go into battle. And then I shall attack. Now, on top of that, I shall activate Magician Circle! What can you do in response? Why do you- why do you have a response? Okay, you don't. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Why, do you... <laughs> Why do you have response? Stop that. And I shall summon... Oh, yeah. Magical I marionette! I can special summon one, too. Wait, you have a... You have one. Oh. Oh, yeah, by the way. I'll activate this. 
huh that didn't go exactly the way i thought i was going to <laughs> i guess i guess i guess it's your turn well played i can say right now this actually has some pretty interesting cards they have here i will normal summon dd survivor and then i will go for an attack directory yeah i really can't do anything about that ow that hurts a lot i will end my turn wow this card is worthless i shall set a card and with that i end my turn now you're playing an entire deck based on remove from play and we've only got two cards removed from play i will normal summon bozo the soul eater in attack position then i will activate its effect i can banish up to three monsters from my graveyard and this card will gain 300 attack for each until the end of your opponent's turn so that's what i'm gonna do i attack your face down with dd survivor yeah, it is a fact does nothing. Oh, this is gonna suck. Get hit in the face by a big beat stick. Ow! Oh, exactly. Mm. 4,000. It's more than enough. I get... Okay, no, I can't bring it back with this. <laughs> All right, well, I set a monster and I'll end my turn. Uh. Oh, it just gets worse for you. I activate Dimensional Fissure. Now, any monster sent from the graveyard is now banished instead. I don't like that. No? Not a big fan? Not a big fan. Okay. Get rid of it. I know you got a second one somewhere in that deck. Then I'll activate Soul Ruiz, and I will start banishing five of your cards. Okay. That's fine. I didn't need those cards anyways. I will attack your face down. It was an apprentice magician. Hmm. You know what? I need the draw power. So I wait. It special summons it in face up, doesn't it? Face down. Okay. No, it works. Then I will attack your face down. I activate Crystal Seer's effect. Allow me to look at the two top. You know what? I already know which card to grab. Then I'll activate DD Dynamite. Ah! Oh, I thought the pain was over. And I will set one card face down and end my turn. Oh. I activate the only thing that'll save my life. Swords revealing light. So for three turns, I am safe. I summon Sumner Monk. I use its special uh, effect. In order to discard a card, in order to special summon another monster from my deck, but it cannot attack this turn. I shall summon Royal Magical Library. And that's uh, really, really all I can do. I end my turn. Since I can't attack you, means I'll just have to set this card face down for now. And I end my turn. I shall sacrifice my Royal Magical Library in order to summon Disenchanter. Really, that, that's all I can do. I, I'm going to go into battle now. I'm going to attack Bazu the Soul Eater. Fool, you activated my trap card. Ah, see, this is why I was glad I didn't do what I was planning on doing. So I will just end my turn for now. Before you end your turn, I activate Macro Cosmos. And I special summon Helios from the deck. All banished monsters times. Oh, that's not too bad. Ah, it's only 800. I could sweet over that. I'm not screwed. I'm not done yet. I will tribute this away. Oh no. To tribute summon mon the monarch, and I destroy your sword of a very right. Oh no. Well, this sucks. Ow. I will I will peel down your life points slowly, and then get punched in the face. Ow. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to remember why I never really beat this deck that often. Hmm. Ah! That did this help me last time, but I'm going first. <laughs> I can't. I can't even do anything with that. So I'll set, and I'll set. He's setting and setting and setting. And I'll set, and then I'll activate Magical Cathedral of End Endimon and Endimion. And with that, I end my turn. All right. Well, first things first. I normal summon. Banisher of the Resilience. Any card sent from the graveyard is banished instead. Oh no. Then I will activate Reinforcement of the Army to add a level four Aurora Warrior monster from deck to hand. I'll add DD Survivor for now. Instead of just stop and just waiting for this out, I'll just go into battle and see if I could get some damage in. Ah! And for that, I end my turn. During your end phase, I activate Pitch Black's Power Stone. Yeah. But that's not all, for I shall chain with another Pitch Black Power Stone. That's a lot of spell counters. That's a total of seven. 
What can you do with seven spell counters there? I activate my pitch black power spell in order to place a counter on there, but I shall also train it with my other pitch black counter spell. <laughs> oh no, he's given it more spell counters. Now it has a total of three. This does nothing unless I have a, a particular card in my hand, but I can get rid of your monster though. I attack. Thank you, go away. Take that 100 <laughs> pitiful life points. And with that, I end my turn. I will normal summon DD Survivor in attack position. Not DD Survivor. No. I will attack your monster. Take, you will lose the 100 life points. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ow. Then I will set one card face down and end my turn. I activate both my pitch black power stones effects. I add a counter, two counters from one counter from each of these and put it onto my cathedral. Sounds more counters. It's getting bigger. As your monster is impressive. It is not as impressive as my uh, skilled dark magician. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop you there, chief. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. No. In that case, I end my turn. See, I don't remember this card being in the original deck, but it said it was it was on the list for some reason. I will activate its effect. That is once per turn. I can banish the top card of my deck. And if I do, until the end of this turn, this card gains 500 attack. And I will go for... Hey, Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. I attacked you directly. Oh, well, this is gonna hurt. Ow. And that will be the end of my turn. And then I shall activate both my cards once more. To give it a give that feel spell more spell counters. Now it has exactly seven. If only I, this card had another effect besides just holding on to spell counters. Gold dang it. <laughs> I'll set one card and I'll end my turn. First things first, I'll activate dimensional alchemist's effect again to banish a card from my top of my deck. Oh, and I banished DD uh, Survivor. Cool. Okay, it only works when it's on the field. Oh, I actually, oh, actually, I could do this. Uh, what do I don't need? I don't need you. I can bring him back. Oh no! You're gonna get hit with two big beat sticks coming your way. That's 3,600 attack. I'll barely survive. So Kona, ah! you're, holding, you're holding on by the grit of your teeth. Well, just give me a monster. Just give me, I believe, I believe in my deck. Just give me one card. And I will set one card face down to end my turn. This is exactly what I wanted, but I'll, I'll, I'll accept this. I set one card face down and I'll end my turn. I will activate dimensional alchemist's effect to banish the top card. And then I will normal summon Helios. So point him into your son in attack position. I will go for an attack. I activate my face down. Book of Moon. Flip it into face down. Wait. Yeah, no, this one. Flip it into face down to fist position. He managed to avoid the first attack, but will he avoid the second attack? That's the question. Can you? I can indeed, for I activate magical cylinder. Ah. Take the damage yourself, you winch. And you know, it's a funny get hit with zero attacks. Ah, I've been spat in the face. Ah, it's disgusting. Gerbs. Gross. You managed to survive. Interesting. 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 I normal summon Mythical Beast Cerberus. I then activate Twin Twister, bringing me down to only 400. But get rid of your face down, which I know your monster returns but it gives me a spell counter. And it only loses the counter if I battle with it. But I don't intend to. I end my turn. I flip back up. Dimensional Alchemist. Activate this effect to banish. Not to, I am not done yet either. I activate Lightning Vortex. Well, now I'm just dead. And I will normal summon Gwen Maju Dizel. And that is game. These decks are not equal. I'm just gonna say that now. How did my deck come out like a year later? You know what? No, I'm not done. I'm not done yet. Give me the, the salty run back. I want the salty uh, uh, run uh, back. Uh, Give it to me. All right, well, all right three, three times. All right, let's go. I will go first. Oh. That's not oh. a good sound. My hand's not 
great, but I can live with it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Actually, right. this is fine. I can live with this. And then next thing too, I will normal summon DD assailants. Then I will set a card face down and in my turn. Oh, that's actually, I'm okay with this. I set a card face down and then I summon the mighty blast magician. I then activate twin, what is it? Not twin twister. It's uh, just twister to get rid of your dimensional fissure. Nobody. Your card's got a neat little ability where if it's destroyed by battle, it can remove my monster. But what if it can't be destroyed by battle? I activate mist body. I need to explain what's going through my empty head at this time. If you remember, DD Salient has the ability that removes it and the monster at battle from play if it gets destroyed. The spell card, Mist Body, prevents the monster equipped with it to get destroyed by battle. I equipped it to his monster so he couldn't crash into my monster, banishing them both with DD Salient's ability. Which is smart! If Blast Magician didn't have 300 or less attack points to begin with. I was not cooking this match. I just realized this is pointless. <laughs> you can do something though. That does, you could do something though, at least, because you have two spell counters on that monster. Yeah, but I can only destroy my monster. Why would I do that? So instead, what I will do is I will set this and I will end my turn. You know, that monster of yours looks pretty cool. I think I want to have it. I think I want to have it. I, I like it. It looks cool. <laughs> I activate Book of Moon. Okay. Nice. That was a good way. That was a good way. Now, I will activate another dimensional fissure. Then I will normal summon Uzo the Soul Eater. I don't know its defense value, but we're gonna play it safe. Banish. And then go for attack. Ouch. Ah, good. Barely. Okay. Just barely. That's a good thing I made I made a good call there. I will send a monster face down, and I will end my turn. I think I'll just gonna go for attack. And I shall activate its effect. Look at the two top cards of my deck. Hmm, mm, I think that as much as base power which is a nice card. I think I'll take the monster. And then I will set a card face down and end my turn. I shall summon the monster that you saw me have. Oh, you know, that is a good card and all, but I have some bad news for you, my friend. Is it a torrential tribute? I activate Karma Cuts. What? I don't remember that card ever being in that deck. Also, good grief. This is just reverse power creep. How is the deck get, how did the decks get worse over time? Ow. I summon the skilled dark magician. I swear if you have torrential tribute face down. Okay, it's not. No, it's, it's something worse. Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, are you, this is unbelievable. What is your luck? Why does that deck come with that card? Why does it come with that card? Why couldn't my deck have a bottomless trap hole? <laughs> a freaking <laughs> just set and just take your turn. Oh, shit, dude. I've looked at the deck list and this is what I saw. It's like, well, f this is some fucked up shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and get your free, get your free hit in. <laughs> now, now, now the salt is real. <laughs> These decks are not equal. At least with the other decks, it was just bad luck. In this case, no, your deck is just way better. I am my turn. Oh, this card is useless. Face down. I end my turn. I normal summon Kyle the Ghost Destroyer. I will go for Slappy Slaps. Ow. Oh, just. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> oh, and I am so sorry, my friend. Are you? No. That. <laughs> These decks are not equal! Just click the video right here to watch more Yu-Gi-Oh. Leave me be.